Lesson 12 Abraham's Inheritance Thursday March 23rd Goddess One United Kingdom Question A How many of Abraham's children will be with him, praising God as he enters into his inheritance? Hebrews 11 verse 39 and 40 And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 and 17 For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Isaiah 66 verse 23 And it shall come to pass, that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. We need not despair when we see that others have struggled through discouragements like our own have fallen into temptations even as we have done, and yet have recovered their ground and been blessed of God. The words of inspiration comfort and cheer the erring soul. Although the patriarchs and apostles were subject to human frailties, yet through faith they obtained a good report, fought their battles in the strength of the Lord, and conquered gloriously. Thus may we trust in the virtue of the atoning sacrifice and be overcomers in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, Volume 4, Page 15. Question B. What will every saved believer do when beholding Jesus Christ face to face as Saviour? Philippians 2 verse 9 to 11. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Revelation 7 verse 9 and 10. After this I beheld, and, lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. What will Jesus then do? 1 Corinthians 15 verse 24 to 28. Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign, till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith, All things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. All, the redeemed, unite in praising, the Lamb, who died that human beings might have the life that measures with the life of God. The conflict is over. Tribulation and strife are at an end. Songs of victory fill all heaven as the ransomed ones take up the joyful strain, worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain, and lives again. A triumphant conqueror. The Acts of the Apostles, page 602. This is the end of the lesson for this week. Stay richly blessed. Feel free to share this lesson with a friend and please subscribe to our channel.